It is an epidemic in this country. Millions of people suffer from the thyroid issue. Joining us this morning for ways to improve our thyroid health is Dr. Tunis Hunt with Hunt for Wellness. Dr. Hunt, thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you indeed. Now, this is a big subject right here because I know a number of people who have thyroid conditions, my wife, my sister, and I know the ability to lose weight is very, very tough. So mm -hmm. let's start with the thyroid. What is it, the thyroid? What's the purpose of thyroid? Sure. Because it's a huge issue. Sure. Well, so. really, the thyroid is really one of the more important glands that we have in our body. It's the butterfly shaped gland that sits in the front of our throat around the Adam's apple. And it's real important in about thousands, if not tens of thousands of different processes that happen in our body. Uh, every cell in our body actually has thyroid receptor sites for the hormone. And so if the thyroid's not working properly, uh, a myriad of problems can happen, including the weight struggles, cold hands and feet, low libido, constipation, and so forth. Yeah, what are some other signs that we might have a thyroid issue? Yeah, so if you're struggling with weight loss, you know, despite your diet and exercise attempts, you know, that's a clear sign of, of, of a thyroid problem. If you have chronic constipation or even high cholesterol numbers, sometimes that can be a thyroid problem. Brain fog, the inability to concentrate, or low energy and sleep disturbances can also be major symptoms of, of thyroid dysregulation. What type of health problems do you have when you have trouble with your thyroids? I mean, yeah. that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just kind of what I just mentioned, uh, the, some of the bigger ones is that inability to lose weight, uh, the, the brain fog, the cold hands and feet, and, and really just your overall metabolism and quality of life. You know, I know there are a number of people who struggle with thyroid problems, and they don't even know it. Right. How can we improve testing so that people can figure out? Oh, this is what's wrong. Yeah, and that's a key question because I think a lot of times people, they go get tested and they get put on medications, yet they continue to struggle. And I really boil that down to like three main keys that we have to address when it comes to really looking at our thyroid. And when it comes to testing, it, that, that's- So that's the, your first key is That's testing. my first key. You know, let's make sure we're getting the proper testing. When it comes to thyroid testing, it's just not done very comprehensively in, 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 our, in our society, really. The medical model is to look at a, uh, a, a value called TSH, which stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. And that's really all the doctors have to look at, not only to diagnose you, but to put you on medication. And if you think about what thyroid stimulating hormone stands for, it actually stands for stimulating the thyroid. In other words, it's not even made by your thyroid. It's actually made by an area of your brain called the pituitary that tells the thyroid mm. to produce hormone. Mm. So the thyroid does produce hormone though, primarily what they call T4 and T3. And then more importantly, T3 is the more active form of the thyroid hormone. And to get even more complicated, it's actually the free form of the T3 wow. that goes to the DNA receptor sites in the cell. So you can see there's a lot of barriers there that really need to be tested to evaluate your thyroid properly. And this goes to your second point that the thyroid does not work alone. Yeah, it doesn't. You know, a lot of times, and, and it sounds elementary to think, oh, you're not just a thyroid, you're not just a brain, you're not just a gut yet, but that's how we're often treated. We go to one specialist, they treat this, we go over here and they treat that, and we don't step back and look at how everything works together. I mentioned the two hormones, T4 and T3, and T3 being the more active one. Well, the conversion of the inactive T4 to T3 actually occurs mainly in our liver. About 60% of, uh, of that active form is formed there. And then another 20% is recovered in our gut. So you can see that our gut health, our liver health mm. also plays a big role. And then we talked about the brain already, how it stimulates the thyroid. So looking at the pituitary area, whether it's high uh, cortisol, cytokines, inflammation, or even serotonin and uh, dopamine can play a big role in how the thyroid's working. So looking at all those that big picture comp uh, comprehensively really makes a, a better approach at finding thyroid problems. And there's an autoimmune component as yeah, well. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, what research actually shows that 90% of hypothyroidism in the United States is actually due to what mm -hmm. they call an autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. And what that really means is the thyroid itself wasn't the main problem. It's the immune system being a little confused. And, and the problem with that is when we get put on medications like Synthroid or Levo, which are just a T4, it's not addressing all the underlying immune mm -hmm problems and so this is those classic person that hey doc my labs look great my you know uh, um, the medication's been there for a while yet I'm still struggling with the weight I'm still struggling with my energy or if you're constantly going back to your doctor getting your levels changed that's a clear sign that the underlying root cause is just not being addressed and so we got to get to that immune problem and doc you host a dinner please yeah we do uh, 
to help educate people, we found one of the best ways of doing it is to offer these free dinners. And we, um, you can go to freedinnertalk.com and see some of our upcoming ones. But we go into the thyroid, we go into the metabolism, and more importantly, we give you some real key things that you can do to help that whole thing, that whole process out. Well, thank you very much, Doc. We really appreciate that. Thank My you. My pleasure. Uh, up next in